The new global event brings us new face masks. Let's take a look at what global event Blackout has to offer us. Before starting, if you want to know how to earn a previous non-event and event related face mask, check out our video on that. It's both linked in the description and the comments. Blackout is the fifth global event and brings with it new modifiers, among other things. We'll quickly take a look at these modifiers as they affect the way you earn the masks. First we have Blackout. This is always active. Agents are equipped with shock ammo that stuns enemies. Shooting or running builds your charge meter. The more you charge, the more damage you inflict. Extreme Blackout is similar to Blackout, plus you instantly kill enemies with overcharged melee attacks. But if you miss, you will stun yourself and your allies. Total Blackout is the same as Extreme Blackout, plus your charge meter will cool down faster when close to other group members. Quickly moving on to the face mask, of course that's the interesting part. This time around we have the da -da -da -da, three face masks. What's new? The design of the face masks is similar to the face masks from the Outbreak Global Event, but with different skins or paint on them. The first face mask is Tau, which has to be my face mask as a peaceful time. This requires you to kill, I'm guessing around 100 enemies, I haven't completed it yet, with the melee shock mechanic, while either extreme or total blackout is active. The second one is called Rictus and requires you to complete any blackout activity without shocking yourself. Two side notes here, make sure to use either the extreme or total blackout modifier and secondly you have to play in a group. To make sure you get this one we have one simple tip, simply use the immunizer mod on the support station, this way you can be shocked. The last one, Vulcan, requires you to kill, once again it's a guess, about 200 enemies while they are shocked. No modifiers required. And that already brings us to the end of the video. It was a short one since we only covered the face marks of this single global event. Up next is the Onslaught global event, but we'll cover that as soon as it's out. So if you have any questions regarding the global events, how to earn the face marks or anything related, don't be afraid to let us know. Before ending the video, I do have one question for you. What is your favorite face mask out of all the global events, including Blackout? I haven't completely decided yet, but the panda one just suits me the best, I guess. It's in the name. Let me know in the comments down below and I hope to catch you next time. Peace, for panda, out.